My name is Terry Tempest Williams, and I'm a participant at Invoking the Pause. What has surprised me about this gathering is the infusion of hope, and I did not realize um, what a deficit um, that I was holding. Um, I've just come back from the Gulf of Mexico. Um, there's much of what I saw that I wish I had not seen. And last night I had a dream after listening to all the stories that were being told by the participants in a circle. And the dream I had um, was listening to a young man from Rwanda singing, um, singing the blues. And that it was through singing from that place of sorrow that he found his voice, and it was beautiful. Um, in talking to this man in the dream who discovered this young man's voice, I said to him, I feel so much pain, but in my mind what I had wanted to say was, I feel so much hope. And I think it's, it's that marriage of pain and hope um, in terms of our work that infuses me with joy, with spirit, with community. And that's what I've felt in the pause that we are all celebrating here. What has been sparked in me during this weekend of invoking the pause has been a sense of community, that no one has to carry the burden on their own shoulders, but we just keep passing it along um, through story. What has moved me deeply is the power of story to connect us to this um, larger inevitability of how we redefine what it means to be human, how we join together in discussing the struggle, and in that struggle is the dance. Um, I don't know when I've been in the midst of such joyous people. Um, what sparks me is the importance of being in an intergenerational uh, setting. What inspires me is being with young people. Um, and what moves me is when people speak from their most authentic selves. Um, that has been inspired by deep reflection. Um, the capacity to listen to oneself and to one's um, colleagues. And I think whenever speaks, I think whenever someone speaks from that authentic place, it's deeply threatening, um, deeply disturbing, and deeply inspiring. You ask the question, you know, um, what have been my wild and wonderful ideas this weekend? I haven't had any. I've been able to listen to other people's, and that's that's been the great gift is being inspired. You know, I think many of us in this circle um, are asked to inspire but to be on the receiving end, um, one after another after another, to hear these stories born out of a question. You mean I can't garden if I live in an apartment? Um, and then to see window gardens, um, to have a kind of wicked humor based in truth, to be reminded of the extinction of experience. I mean, the specificity of every person's story and project that came out of quiet. Um, it is a resounding song. Is there anything you'd like to share that you haven't had the space to this weekend? I came with that luggage. I, for the first time in my life, you know, I left my baggage um, elsewhere. And, you know, today I was given two shirts, you know, I came with this earring, this one was uh, shared, and this necklace was given. And I think we all feel that this has been this extraordinary gifting um, of reciprocity. Uh, without thought, um, freely expressed, um, generously received, it has been a feast.